everybody, it's Jochen Haydn, and I'm back with the Macho vs. Haydn campaign. It's actually April 2nd because I watched the April 1st turn yesterday, and I forgot to record the turn. And it was so crappy, I didn't feel like watching it again. Um, nothing really happened except I lost about 20 jakes over Ceylon. I don't know what was going on, but all of my jakes flew... Uh-oh. Okay, I got some enemy subs here. Um... All my jakes flew right into his cap, and we lost about 20 of them over Cochin, Trivandrum, and Colombo. Other than that, the turn was... Oh, and um, I'm pretty sure he drove a, a task force into Trincomalee, or was that two turns ago? I forget. Anyway, as you can see, there's a lot of enemy subs here. But, yeah, so my last few turns have not been great, guys. And I have ordered something today... That I feel is risky, but I feel like I need to do it. So I'm going to try. Let's see how it goes. We're in the night recon phase right now, or night naval spotting. Yeah, yes, we get it. There's a lot of enemy ships here. A lot of enemy ships here. Yes, we know. Okay, nice last night for bombing for him, I believe. I think there's no more moonlight after this. Ooh, nice. We got one. Cool. So Flack is doing something tonight. Uh, his bombing of Magway has never been effective. That's all. He lost a Marauder for that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the I-164 is going to sink right now. It's been damaged for, for almost a week now. Okay, we got the I-1 sitting out here near Hawaii. Picked up by ASW and damaged. There it goes. That's the I-164, guys. It's at I-3. That's, that's Fog of War. It sank. <sighs> I tried to save it, but it was just too damaged. Oof, man. He's got his subs all over us like a cheap suit. Alright guys, let's see what we get today. There we go. I do have all of my Kates on ASW today. I'm hoping I can damage some subs here. All right, so we get <sighs> Oh no. He's gone. Oh, bummer, dude. I planned a huge cap uh, fighter sweep over Colombo today and he's gone. This is going to be a big old wash. Man, what a bummer. All right, well, no, no point in watching this. Darn it. So I got a lot of fighters coming in here, guys. I was really hoping we could catch his aircraft in a huge cap uh, fighter sweep, but he's not here. See, it's just gonna keep coming because what a bummer. I sent everything out on this. Now, oh, swing and a miss, guys. 
Dang it. What a bummer. I was really hoping we were going to get him today. Uh, catch his fighters in the air. Dang it. It's like he's always one step ahead of me. I hate that feeling. This bombing is so ineffective. Man, I was really hoping we would have a big old air battle today. Where he knew we were coming. Look at this. See, I sent everything, guys. I sent it all. <laughs> Come on. He had 140 fighters there last turn. Man. Day late and a dollar short. Every every time. Hopefully we can damage some of these stupid things. Or get shot down. This was a big goose egg, man. Bummer. Big old goose egg today. Let's get some land combat in. I don't think I have much planned. It's the bombardment here. Ah, it's slowly chipping away at him, but we're not doing a whole lot of damage here. Yoon, just kind of a stalemate. Allied bombardment. Okay. That's that's really nothing there. That's <sighs> make that two turns that have been pretty pretty dull. We just missed the we missed the mark on that, guys. These might be new units here. Well, all right. There's not much to talk about in this turn, but I'm going to go ahead and do it since I missed last turn. Ugh. Aircraft losses today. Four for us, four for him. We lose two zeros in ops. He loses three hurricanes and a PBY and a Marauder. And we lose a Kate. Four to four. Ship sunk last turn. 
The I-164 did go down finally south of Ceylon. It's been damaged for days. Uh, as far as score goes, there's really no real change here. Um, we've now exceeded Allied aircraft losses due to my horrible play over the last few turns. Um, okay, looking at the situation. Oh, let me move this around here. China's situation hasn't changed a whole lot. Uh, we do have enough troops into Kianco now that I feel like we could probably attack, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and wait for everything to get there. We'll bombard. Let's do that. Put everything in combat. We'll put everything to bombard. Let's We'll do that while we wait for the rest of the, the forces to get in. Divide. I want everything as rested up as possible. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, we're going to bombard. Uh, the bulk of the troops get in next turn. Yep. I feel like I should attack. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. Um, he is retreating here, finally. Uh, up north, just waiting on this armored car regiment to get back before we push up to Wasu. And status quo in Tuyun. Although I think he's probably built back a fort by now because our our air campaign is it keeps getting canceled due to weather. In Burma, uh, he did advance in here, and I think he's retreating because he knows that he's kind of boxed in. Uh, I am into. Lashio now, so what I'm going to do here is bombard next turn just to get a feel for what's actually in the hex. So let's go rebuild unit. We'll put everybody here to bombard so we can get a, a feeling for what we got here. More reinforcements are on the way next turn. These guys will probably fall back up in here as well. I'd love to take Lashio. He is continuing to push on Katha, which is fine because I have basically... Uh, RTA division and Imperial Guards division here, and we're building up the forts pretty good. In India, um, it looks like he is moving out a significant amount of troops to counterattack us here. He's got 80,000 troops in Rangpur now. That looks like to be an American division, so it looks like he might be going on to counterattack. I look forward to meeting him in battle when that time comes. We have plenty of forces here to deal with this. Plenty. 360, 700. Okay. All right. In the Bay of Bengal, I don't understand what happened other than the fact that he did not... Well, I feel like maybe he put his aircraft on a... On a... Uh, what do you call it? Maybe a cap trap of some sort, because we did not engage any fighters this last turn. I don't know where they're at. They're on the ground. There's 167 of them, so there's no shortage of fighters here. But uh, he did not take our bait for the for our fighter sweeps. I was hoping he would. So we're back to square one here, and I don't know what to do now. Fortunately, we did make it into this hex. So next turn. We can attack here. I have no idea how many forces are actually in this hex, so. We'll see. A lot of supply here. Uh, just a little bit more troops to unload, and then this whole task force can head out. These guys are two damage destroyers that managed to escape. He's got five subs sitting here. But I got the uh, Keto Butai on ASW patrol this turn to, to damage them. Yeah, so big fighter sweep fail here. But he's got the fighters. He just didn't want to take the bait. Really nothing to talk about in the Dutch East Indies. It's super dull here now. Um, and in the Philippines, everything is fully secured except for Baton. So it's just a, it's just a waiting game now. We just need to wear it down. And we can take this place out. And that's basically the last Allied troops on the Philippines are right here. 
in Australia, my forces continue to um, pursue towards Catherine. I've got these guys moving to take Wyndham. So we've got a pretty decent chunk of Northern Australia secured right now. Got a couple more bases I'd like to grab here. But uh, basically this whole operation was to secure the last little uh, base that he can reasonably use to bomb us and bomb our oil with. So we got Bula, and now we're going to be getting Babo. And then we got a lot of oil and resources to pull out of these places. South Pacific is a very quiet operation right now. Nothing happening here. Some sort of ships over at Tonga Tapu. I'm assuming they're patrol boats. And that's it, guys. I uh, wish I could say there was more going on than that, but there really isn't. So um, I, I just wish we could have engaged in some epic fighter combat over Colombo, but it didn't exactly work out the way I wanted it to. So that's okay. We'll figure out something else. Catch you guys on the next one.